In an interview with NBC News, Minister Erastus Sutoni says the decision to focus on rural areas is because the majority of people also live there. He says various training on gardening projects have already kicked off in Ongwadiva and Omaheke where some young people have also been trained on livestock vaccination to uplift themselves from poverty. However, despite these efforts, Utoni says infighting amongst councillors has delayed initiatives aimed at developing rural areas. It's really a challenge. Some, some of the councillors might be because they did not go through this induction course. They do not know how they should carry out their responsibility. You find some of the councillors interfering into the administrative matters of the officials. And again, you find officials, you know, behave like councillors. You know, it's just vice versa. As a result, you find, you know, people are fighting one another. So what we are doing, we are going to conduct an induction course starting from the whole month of January uh, 2021, February, ending March, because the country is so big. Utoni is also egged by the high increase in disputes amongst various traditional authorities. He says when community members do not want a particular chief, they tend to bring forth their own preferred individual to be recognized while there's already a recognized one. The disputes are many. Uh, I don't want to be you know, specific now. Yes, so that's it. But uh, we are trying our level best because uh, in terms of uh, helping the traditional authorities, so far the ministry has um, constructed uh, 36 offices for those recognized uh, traditional authorities in Namibia. And again, for the traditional authority at, at least to, to be mobile and then see how they can help their communities, we have created um, a fund. Uh, this fund is what we call, it's a community trust fund for the traditional authorities, at least to generate some little income. Now these funds are now established in 44 traditional authorities because we have 52 traditional authorities. Now out of 52, 44 uh, trust fund uh, is now established. This is now to see how they can now help their community and also for them to be mobile because it's also not an easy thing for a, a traditional leader just to move from one corner to the other corner. So that is what we are doing currently. Utoni says his ministry will continue to engage community members on how best their needs can be met. Ndapandashuya, NBC News, Ongwe Diva.